What is a Christian? Now we've all heard the funny saying that goes something like, a good Christian is a man who does not drink, cuss, smoke, or chew, or go out with girls that do. But what if I told you as a Christian who's studied God's Word most of my life that being a Christian doesn't have anything to do with some kind of external list of do's and don'ts, but simply in living a relationship with a God who loves us so much and gave everything to save us. It's true, Christianity is not so much about what you do, but what's been done for you. And in this short time together, I want to explain that Christians can't possibly earn their salvation by their good works. I want to explain then how Christians are saved if it's not by their good works. And I want to explain why we do good works as Christians if it's not for our salvation. So first of all, there is no such thing as a good enough Christian. It really is very clear in God's word that there's nothing we can do to earn our salvation. And probably one of the clearest things is where it talks in 1 John 1, this is the Apostle John talking to the church, that if we say that we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us. And then it also says in Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin are death. It's true that for Christians, we sin. We're not perfect. There's none righteous, not even one, the Bible says in another passage. So Romans 3.23 also says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that's true of the most righteous person that says, you know, then maybe they even say, you know, I don't sin. No, they clearly do. We've all fallen short. And our sin is a very serious offense to God. There's no way for us to actually earn our salvation just because we sin, and the wages of sin is death. So with this in mind, how does a Christian become a Christian? Right, if we can't earn our salvation by our good works, how are we saved? And just like the Bible is clear on how we can't earn our salvation, it's really clear on how we're saved by entering a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's not about our good works, it's just about accepting what he's done for us. So 1 John continues, you know, it says, if we say we don't have sin, we're deceiving ourselves, but then it continues, if we confess our sins, he, God, is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then Romans 6.23 also continues, you know, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And it's simply by accepting that gift that we're saved. Romans 10.9 probably says it best when it says, if we confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's really as simple as that. If you make Jesus your Lord and start living in relationship with him, accepting his sacrifice on your behalf, you'll be saved. So, if Christians don't earn their salvation by their good works, why do we do good works? On this last point, I want to just explain that Christians actually have a lot of liberty. It's not that we have to follow a list of do's or don'ts. It's that what we do do, we do as unto the Lord. Since we've accepted him as our Lord, we want to live a life that pleases him. Jesus probably says it best when he says that if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So that's what we do as Christians. We love our Lord, so we try to keep his commandments as best we can. Not to earn our salvation, but to simply live in that relationship with him. So to conclude, I want to finish with the story of a Christian who got this relationship with Christ right. And this is actually just a recent story. Levi Jones, an 18-year-old Chick-fil-A employee in Columbus, Georgia, showed Christ's love to a homeless man outside the restaurant by not only giving him a meal, but giving him his shoes as well. Levi saw this homeless man hanging around outside the restaurant, but instead of shooing him away or calling the cops, he saw the man suffering and barefooted. And he chose to meet the man's immediate needs with love. Levi's quote, when asked about the action he took, is inspiring. He says, I love Jesus. As his son, I am called to live and walk as Jesus did on the earth. Jesus hung around homeless people, took care of people, loved on people, blessed people wherever he went. I just want to walk and live that out every single day of my life.
That's what it means to be a Christian. And that's what a Christian is. So I hope this talk has helped explain that. And I hope that you're encouraged to explore Christianity and to explore Jesus, my Lord. Thank you so much for your time.